Are you ready to save some money? Oh, so am I. How can we save money when it comes to our household? Different bills keep coming in, and you're like, holy smokes, how can I keep these down? Well, there's one person we need to talk to that is the guru. Her name is Jody Marks. Now, she's a friend of mine from Atlanta, where we are now, but guess what? When we contacted her, right now she's in New Jersey. What in the world, Jody, are you doing in New Jersey, Atlanta girl? Oh, I know, I know, but you know what? It reminds me of home, I swear. It's just as beautiful. <laughs> All right, Jody, are you going to help us save some money today? Yes, I am. Don't I always try to save you money, Con? <laughs> you do indeed. Now, what are some interesting ways that we can keep our bills down? Okay, well, you know the cold months are right here. We're in it. And uh, we need to make sure that we keep a little bit of that jingle in our pocket. And here's some uh, great little tips or products that are good energy efficient things that you might not think about when you're doing your home energy audit. Because I know everybody out there does their home energy audits every year. All right, Jody, time out. What the heck is a home energy audit? Oh, you're kidding. It's where you go and you just make sure that all the insulation is in good shape, the caulking around your doors and your windows. You need to make sure, you know, you can compare your power bills and do all of that just to see where am I, where am I not, where am I losing money on all my utilities and things like that. But I'll tell you, Con, I would think that the biggest thing is your appliances that really drain, you know, your power grid. So there are a couple of uh, new innovative ideas that, that are down the line now on the appliances that maybe people don't even know about. Talk, for instance, about the um, refrigerator. That's probably the number one appliance that drains the most energy out of all of your appliances in your home because it runs 24-7. And you know, you're constantly opening and closing that door. And so the temperature gets, um, it goes up, but you need to regulate that. Well, LGE has come out with a new refrigerator. It's a four-door French door. It's Energy Star rated. And in fact, it's 20% more efficient than the federal minimum standard. So you're gonna be saving a lot, a lot of money there. Um, the nice thing too is it's got this new compressor technology so it actually reduces the uh, temperature variables inside the temperature of the refrigerator as you're opening and closing the door. Now, I know you do all the laundry in your house, but you know that's a pretty <laughs> uh, power drainer right there too, or your washer and your dryer. Well, you know, Bosch has come out with a new line. It's called Vision. And what I like best about these, Con, is that now the technology is so advanced. I mean, this could basically do anything, but there are sensors inside the washing machine that not only tell you how heavy your load is and how much water it will specifically need, but how dirty your clothes are. So it cleans your clothes quickly, efficiently, and it doesn't use as much water. Then when you put them in the dryer, the dryer has sensors as well that detect the moisture level in your clothes so that when they're completely dry, the dryer automatically shuts off and then you're not burning up the energy, you know, like with my dryer, it just goes and goes and goes until it knocks off on the internal timer. Well, this one knocks off immediately. So you're saving a lot of money there. <laughs> well, Jody, I hope it doesn't have a smelly alarm. Where else can we save energy or our money in our home? We're talking about energy conservation, but I also like to throw in there, we need to also be thinking about water conservation. And Moen, which has come out with a great line, this is their Caldwell Collection. They actually got the EPA Award this year as 2010 Water Sense Partnership of the Year. Why? Because their faucet uses one and a half gallons of water Water per minute that flows through their faucet as opposed to the industry standard of 2.2 gallons per minute. So that's a lot of savings. So, you know, you can save a lot of water there. But, you know, Con, talking about water, water is a good thing, but then water can also be a bad thing, especially if it accumulates in your basement or you've got standing water around your foundation areas. You may have a sump pump in your basement um, or you may need to get a sump pump. If you're thinking about getting one or thinking about upgrading yours, Wayne's pumps. Wayne Pumps has come out with a very green pump, and by that I mean it moves water quicker, it moves water faster, it moves a lot more water just using 50% less energy than a normal sump pump. The nice thing about this too is it's very quiet, so you're not using a lot of energy there. Now you know the government is still giving back rebates, don't you, on some of your um, energy approved appliances that comply with energy efficiency. Well, if you're thinking about maybe taking a space above your garage or maybe converting your attic into some living space, you're going to need to heat and cool that. Well, now's a good time to invest in a good HVAC system and Mitsubishi has got one. This is called their, um, this is part of their FE line, the M-series. 
And what's best about this is there is zero, or if little, ductwork, because it's the ductwork con where all of the energy escapes as it's trying to get to your vents in your floors or in your walls. So this is just another great way to save money, because you can save up to 40% of your energy bills installing one of these to heat and cool your space. And you could get a rebate. Jody, so many great options. Where can we go for more information? Well, you can go to a website. It's called moreaboutthat.info. If you go there, you're going to see all of this information. If you need more information on the rebates, go to energystar.gov, and you can get a whole list of um, government-approved appliances that apply for that um, rebate. Well, thanks for the information, and hurry home. Oh, I know. I'm ready. <laughs> Always love talking to Jody Marks. Great ideas. You can follow up on her ideas and some other money-saving tips in your household at our Get Connected website at contv.com. When we come back, what are you going to do for the fall season when it comes to gardening? We'll tell you that and more next.